Well, hello, my fellow starchivores. I'm Dr. Gustavo Tolosa, your starch solution coach. And today in a cold morning outside, I'm going to show you how to make hash browns. I've had so many requests about how to do these that it's time to make the video. These are very crisp and delicious hash browns with no oil. So come with me to the kitchen and I'll show you how. You will need two or three things. First, you will need a good non-stick pan that I'll show you in just a minute. Second, you will need frozen shredded hash browns like this, but you can buy other types. Just make sure that it says calories from fat zero. It's very easy to be confused and buy the ones that have oil in them. Make sure they have no oil and very little sodium like this, about 20 milligrams or less. Also, you might want to have some a mixture of free pepper and onion blend like this one. Make sure that they don't have oil either and very low sodium and they're frozen. I took the potatoes out of the bag. You can see that they kind of crumble like this. If they're too hard, you might want to put them for a few seconds in the microwave, but uh, you don't want to add any water to these. They need to be pretty much dry with their own moisture. So now let's go to the kitchen here. These are the two skillets that I have. Uh, today I'm going to use both of them so that you can uh, see both types of hash browns, the plain and the ones with onions and peppers. And I'll put a link below the video of the pans that I use, but as long as you get non-stick pans, it's important, uh, skillets. This is crucial or, you, or you're not going to succeed. It's very, very important that you have good non-skillet pans, um, not non-stick pans, and uh, that's one of the investments that you just got to make. Um, also, if you decide that you want to um, grate your own, shred your own potatoes, that's even better, and if you want to chop your own onions and peppers, that's even better. I use the frozen because, like most of you, I have very little time, and I just use the frozen type. Okay, so secret number one is to turn the oven on high. This, these skillets here, they have to be very hot. Sorry, there it is. There it is. They have to be very hot. That's our first secret. So now I'm going to bring the potatoes and I'll show you how I put them in here. All right, so the pans are hot and I'm going to put the potatoes here. Secret number two is to uh, spread these potatoes kind of thin. You don't want to, you don't want to pile them high because then they're not going to be crisp. So you can see how I am crumbling them like that. Very easy. And that's probably about all. They will shrink a little so I can put a little more but again, you want it, this to be a thin layer, and that's it. Okay, so that's one. Now we're gonna go to the other pan. Actually, I'm, hold on there. I'm going to add, to this one, I'm going to add some onions and peppers, and I'm going to put them on top. I used to mix them, but now I've decided that it's better like this, so that they don't get too um, brown. Now I'm going to move to the other pan. I'm going to do the same thing, but in this one, I'm just going to make uh, plain. If you don't have the onions and the peppers, or if you don't like them, then these are delicious too, just plain. And later on, you can eat them with uh, salsa, fresh salsa or ketchup. If you use ketchup, remember that it is a condiment, so it is allowed in the McDougall program as long as it's used as a condiment and you're not eating tons of it every day with every meal. And if possible, make your own or buy a type that doesn't have a lot of sugar and other extra ingredients and that is low in sodium and sugar, etc. But I usually just eat them alone. Okay, so there's thin like that. What I'm Now, secret number three is that you've got to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone for about three to four minutes, and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's about 
five minutes now. Resist the temptation to turn them. That's what I've learned my, during my last two years. I used to turn them and turn them because I thought they were going to get burned. They've been on high now here for five minutes. So you just take a spatula and look, they're starting to stick and you turn them and look, they're brown and crisp. They're starting, I mean, it's not quite ready yet. You're gonna break them up a little more like this. And they will not stick. And this is the, the, the lesson that I had to learn. Uh, it took me a while because I, I used to add water and I used to turn them often and they were good, but they were never quite crisp. Um, like the way I'm brown, like I wanted. I also make a big batch because they're great as leftovers. Whenever you need a quick snack and you don't have time to make anything, this is the best thing that you can have. So now I'm going to move on to the other pan where I have the plain ones and do the same thing. They are getting, but look at that, and this is high, and on high, and it's five minutes or more, and they're barely turning brown. So what I do when I'm making this in the morning, I uh, while they're they're cooking, I may go and shave or I put clothes away or the dishes away. I just do stuff that I need to do. I don't stand here just waiting. Uh, I guess I'm too impatient for that. So I just do other things and let the potatoes cook. So now we're going to continue with our third secret, which is leave the potatoes alone and leave them there for about five more minutes and it's still on high. So we will back in about five minutes. Okay, almost five minutes have gone by and I'm going to turn them in again. Look, the whole thing now is pretty much stuck together and it's, uh, the peppers pretty much are a little bit, um, I wouldn't, you know, brown or even burn, but they do have um, a great taste when they're like that. And if you could smell this, it smells heavenly. So you can now probably leave them for another two minutes or so and turn them one more time and they're ready. Or you can eat them just like this. Now I'm just breaking them up a little bit. But notice how I added not one drop of oil and not one drop of any liquid, water or anything. Now I'm going to go to the other pan here, the other skillet. And... This one is pretty much all stuck together. This is fun to cook like this, and I'm using my, my hands, but excuse me, that's how I usually just, I use my hands a lot. So, yeah, we'll just break them up a little and turn them around, turn them upside down, and that's pretty much. What I do now is I usually, I turn off the, the stove, the kitchen here, I turn it off and I let them stay there for another five minutes or so, but now it's getting cooler. And then I'll show you how delicious they are. Okay, so I'm back for about four minutes. And uh, of course, I, I love both of these types. But this morning, I'm just gonna get the ones with the onions and peppers, and I'm going to put them right here on this plate. And um, I eat, a lot of these. Um, they remember they have no oil, so the calories are extremely low. The um, the nutrition is incredibly high. You have also a lot of um, a lot of water and fiber, which contributes to satiety, so that you will be full for quite a long time. And I'm going to the table to try them and see how they turned out. All right, so now we're ready. I'm going to show you how I have here a little bit of uh, ketchup and some salsa and salt. We don't use salt while, while we eat them. We put salt on them and I put a little bit and you can leave it out. Remember that you will use 10 times less salt if you put it on top of the food and not while you're cooking it because you taste it on top of the food much more strongly. So let's see how they can I'm out. These are, they smell great and they are crisp. 
Mm. Oh my goodness, the taste of the peppers and the onions and the potatoes is truly amazing. You can have a piece of whole wheat toast with this. I would have herbal tea or some kind of coffee that it doesn't have any, uh, that it's um, sub coffee substitute, um, you know, any, any other thing, or you just can eat them like this. Remember, potatoes is the basic of the starch solution, potatoes and sweet potatoes. So enjoy, and hopefully I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.